even for sword and shield, the more that we begin to yield to God, God watches us. He see what we do. He see what are you doing with what you got. What you got in your house? What you doing with that business idea that you got? You want to wait till you get a hundred employees or you going to be faithful with the two you got? Come on here. You, you going to be faithful and do what I told you to do or you going to wait till some other people come and then you say that's what I'm going to do it. See, God said, I'm looking for a few good men that will trust and know that if I am for you, who in the world can be against you? He said, because when he began to see us being faithful in what he called us to do, he'll begin to call them people to be added unto us. See, because see, you got to look at this thing. The first people that he began, when you turn over to 1 Chronicles, the 12th chapter, it says, first, God sent David help by stages. He wanted David to know that I am the one that's doing this, but first I want to know where your heart is. And the first group of people that he sent was people from the tribe of Benjamin. You may say, well, what's about these people from the tribe of Benjamin? These people were some of the same people who worked with Saul. Come on now. You mean to tell me the same person who God just took the kingdom from, that these people had made up their mind that they were going to be with Saul, but now all of a sudden God don't change their mind and say, no, y'all finna go help David. What would you basically what I'm saying? God saying that I will take from your enemy and give to you. Because see, I need for you to be faithful in what I call you to do. He said, not only will I bring you increase, but I will give you people who are trained. Because see, when I looked at it in the Bible contemporary, it said that the tribe of Benjamin, these people were sharpshooters. They knew how to fight. They was warriors. It said that they can get fling shots and use it on the right hand as well as the left hand. That they were people that they knew how to fight in battle. And they came over to David and they said, you know what, we're going to work with you. We're going to leave our posts. He said, and then another tribe came. And the other tribe that came, these was people who was broken. People who was discontented. These was people who had got hurt in Saul's kingdom. He said, but they God began to open up their eyes and they said, you know what? We want to be with somebody who's going to protect us. See, I need y'all to get the picture now because we talk about a person that's leaving a kingdom that's got over a hundred some thousand men. Now you going over here with somebody who got 30. Come on, because you get your mindset don't understand that. But see, God said, because I don't want you to look at numbers. He said, because you sitting up here saying, well, God, I just want a Mercedes. And God said, but I just want you to be blessed with what I gave you. If you driving the metro, entertain the metro. Watch the metro. Keep the metro clean. Keep the metro vacuum. Come on here. He said, because see, then when you get the Mercedes, you will know how to treat the Mercedes. But you know, some of us, well, no, I do that when I get the Mercedes. But I treat my metro like it ain't nothing. He said, but see, I want to show you that I want to bless you and I want to help you. But first, I got to kill what's on the inside of you first so you can know how to be appreciative of what I give you. See, because see, he said, if you don't know how to manage your checkbook now, that's telling me when you get to be a millionaire, you ain't going to know how to manage it. If you can't be faithful and pay your bills now, he said, why would I trust you with a million dollars? The Bible said when you be faithful over little, I make you ruler over much. See, because you got to understand with this tribe of gay, they were people that they were trained for war. These people, they were so swift and quick that they, they had the faces of lions that they say no man could look at them. They was disciplined. They was trained. Matter of fact, God said that he even sent the best of the best. He sent them the commanders. Come on, this is good to me all by myself because you sitting up here trying to figure out, God, where am I going to get the resources? And he said, but if you just do what I told you to do and do it faithfully, you're going to see I'm going to add it to you. You may say, well, well, God, I'm just trying to get out of this depression. He said, but if you will war over the little bit, I'm going to give you much strength to war over the big thing about it. But you first got to say, no, nah, depression, you don't belong to me. Instead of just say, well, you know what, God, if you just help me, if you just take all my problems away. God said, first, no, I need you to deal with what you're dealing with first. Before 
you go and try to say, well, I'm going to take over this. 